If you've ever dreamt of owning a California home with a rock star legacy, the late Tom Petty's Malibu mansion is on the market for $90 million. Before his passing in 2017, Petty purchased the estate in spring 1998 for $3.75 million. The property includes a main home, a separate guest house, and an additional structure that served as a recording studio, totaling 7 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms, across about 10,000 square feet of living space. Tom Petty, the iconic American rock musician, was best known for his work with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. His career spanned several decades, producing timeless hits like American Girl, Free Fallen, I Won't Back Down, and so many more. Tom was married twice and had two daughters. His first marriage was to Jane Benyo in 1974, with whom he had his two daughters, Adria Petty, born in 1974, and Anakim Violet Petty, born in 82. Jane and Tom would divorce in 1996, but despite the separation, Petty maintained a strong relationship with his daughters and was known for being a devoted father. In 2001, Petty married Dana York, a former publicist who became a central part of his life and career. The couple had a close relationship, often seen together at public events and sharing their lives with fans. Tom Petty's life came to a tragic end on October 2nd, 2017, when he passed away at the age of 66 and the nudes shocked the music world and his fans. Tom's home life was a blend of private family time and creative peace. Over the years, the musician purchased several properties that became central to his life and work. One of his most cherished residences was a Mediterranean-style estate located in a gated enclave in Malibu that he purchased in 1998, which served as his main home until his passing. The recording studio on this very property was where Petty composed many of his beloved songs. In addition to the main Malibu estate, Petty's real estate portfolio included a modest home in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, another oceanfront Malibu beach house, and at one time, even a mansion in Encino that Selena Gomez now calls home. Tom Petty's former residence, where he lived for many years, was recently put on the market for $90 million. Set in a gated enclave above Malibu's Pacific Coast Highway, the property covers a 2.6 acre lot with amazing views of the coastline. The compound was originally built in the 1940s and maintains some of its vintage charm throughout. Before his passing in 2017, Petty purchased the estate in spring 1998 for $3.75 million. The property includes a main home, a separate guest house, and an additional structure that served as a recording studio, totaling seven bedrooms and 10 bathrooms across about 10,000 square feet of space. Inside the main residence, there are dark hardwood floors, limestone accents, vintage light fixtures, and Spanish tile bathrooms. Some of the home's highlights include a grand great room with fireplace and hand-carved skylight covers, which is a personal touch from the rock star himself. There's also a gourmet kitchen with more skylights, a central island, and a butler's pantry. Elsewhere, the home also boasts a fireside dining room seating up to 16, a wood-paneled library TV area, and a music room where Petty composed many of his hits. Additional amenities include a gym, a massage yoga room, and a luxurious master suite with a fireplace, French doors leading to a fountain-filled patio, a large walk-in closet, and spa-like bath with vanity station, and another fireplace. Three ensuite guest bedrooms open to a courtyard with seating area and dedicated study zone, while the lush grounds feature a swimming pool and spa surrounded by a sun-drenched deck. Aside from this Malibu property, Tom Petty's estate also includes a modest home in Pacific Palisades. His oceanfront Malibu beach house was sold in early 2023 for nearly $10.3 million, so let's take a look at that one next. In 2023, Tom Petty's other Malibu beach house officially sold for $10.25 million, exceeding its asking price. Dana Petty, the late rock star's wife, listed the home in December 2022 for $9.85 million. The property went under contract within just 10 days and closed on the last day of February. 
Tom Petty cherished this beach house for years before his unexpected death. Dana mentioned that Tommy loved that the beach house was essentially untouched, built in 1950 with a cabin-like feel. We spent a lot of time there with friends and family. The three-bedroom, three-bathroom mid-century modern home features 66 feet of beach frontage, a private brick patio, and a guest house music studio. It's a simple yet perfect design that made it a cherished retreat or vacation spot for the star. The listing agent at the time noted that Petty appreciated the home's modest charm and spent every holiday there, also loving the fact he could walk on the beach and not be bothered or harassed like celebrities often are. Dana recalled in December how Tom always had his recorder and guitar on hand, constantly writing and creating. She said, I remember him composing many songs there, including Good Things Coming and Mud Crutch's Beautiful Blue and Topanga Cowgirl. Tom Petty passed away on October 2nd, 2017, at the age of 66. His death was a significant loss to the music world, leaving fans and fellow musicians to mourn the end of an era. Personally, I'm a huge fan and I was so grateful to have seen him live on what would be his last tour. And I was even happier I was able to take my dad with me. Despite his passing, Petty's legacy continues through his influential music and even in the properties he left behind. That'll wrap up today's house tour, but rest in peace, Tom Petty. Thanks for watching. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.